Well, China's first lunar rover, Yu-2, has successfully separated from the lunar lander, Chang'e 3. Now, for the latest on this successful separation, let's cross live to our reporter, Ai Yang, at Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center. Hello, Ai Yang. The Yu-2 rover has just left the lander and is now on the surface of the moon. You have been following the whole process uh, from the control center. Tell us more about this exciting process. Hi, Pandan. We've been at the control center since 3 a.m. this morning, and now on the screen you can see that uh, uh, 3D simulations show the lander has uh, completely separated from the rover, and the moon rover U2 has uh, arrived at a previously designated spot at the Bay of Rainbows. And just now we saw 3D simulations also showed how the rover slowly descended itself from the lander, and to the untrained eye, it seemed the entire process took very long, several hours, and that actually seemed that the uh, rover was taking a very small step at a time, but actually a lot was happening during that time. For example, the rover was uh, making calculations, communicating with the Earth, and also sending back data. And then at about roughly 4.40 a.m. this morning, the uh, moon rover landed at the Bay of Rainbows. And now on the screen, you can still see that it uh, recalls the historic landing time which is at 11 minutes past 21 o'clock on December the 14th and also you can see that the, the lunar probe has altogether been working on the moon for a little over eight hours and we know that uh, China is actually 37 years late to arrive to the moon uh, compared to the former Soviet Union and the United States but actually there are still quite a few highlights to this mission for example it is a combined lunar probe by a lander and a rover and uh, this time the lander will not move anymore after the landing and serve uh, many functions such as a space observing platform and the rover it will wheel around some part of the Bay of Rainbows and uh, measure the depth of its lunar soil and crust using extreme ultraviolet camera and this is also a first done by any country in the world. Well, Ayang, now the U2 is on the moon's surface. What will happen next? Well, the rover is designed to work for three months and it will be conducting a lot of work such as what I said just now, uh, measuring the depth of its lunar soil and crust. And, uh, but that actually, the three months is three months on Earth and that translates only to three days and three nights on the moon as we know that one night equals 14 nights on, moon, on the moon. So basically, and also during the three nights on the moon, the rover as well as the lander and all eight scientific equipment on board of them will have to put to sleep in order to survive the extreme coldness and they will be heated by um, atomic energy batteries carried with themselves and then the lander is designed to work for a year uh, and the rover three months like I mentioned just now but uh, it is very possible that uh, they will work over time given that uh, their, fun uh, their, uh, their conditions are still good after the initial life expectancy and that's actually what happened with the Chang'e 1 and 2 mission and in fact the Chang'e 2 mission uh, the Chang'e 2 uh, lunar probe is still functioning in space right now six years after its launch because it is still in good condition and this time China has just landed its first ever moon rover on the moon but uh, with current technologies it is not able to come back to the Earth, but scientists are already working on a Chang'e 5, which is designed to launch into space by 2018 and hopefully bring back samples from the moon. Thank you very much indeed. Our reporter Ai Yang at Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center.